I guess. Well, out of character. Would you I didn't, didn't call you a minion. Oh, yeah, at least that. I was just about to say, would you have preferred minions? <laughs> Has anyone on the council heard of rogue figures uh, in black and gold? Doing anything evil or maniacal? Wanting to plot against us? Once again, this person just laughs. Says, people in black cloaks have always been up to no good. Oh, I know, it's it's very stereotypical, but has anyone so recently? He looks across the table at the red-haired lady and says, So, Natasha, this is your realm of magic. Could they be telling the truth? And she replies, I cannot know. I certainly don't know how to convince you, but as an ally of justice, I would never lie to you about such a dire matter. Or any other matter for that matter. This guy has kind of looked confused this entire time. He kind of stands up and says, shouldn't we do something about those two lying there? Poor Fitz, he was like a son to me. Oh, I must be Nayla and Mr. Fitz. If there's anyone to help them, please do. Can we have... Uh, do you have someone um, experienced in medicine that could... Well, in healing that could do an autopsy on, autopsy on, the, on them? Says yes, we can find out what killed them. Mm -mm. Uh, Natasha. You see her kind of whisper into the air and they all look at you guys again. What senseless decks. Indeed. The, after a prolonged bit of silence, this person says, Well, I guess our meeting is adjourned for now. They all stand up. Well, please tell, us, tell someone is going to look into this dire situation, however. Is one moment. Bevis, your charges have confessed to performing blood magic, which is outlawed in this city. We were not involved in the blood magic at all! And it, it wasn't us! Was it was just Mr. Fitz. Fitz! And we weren't even in the city. We'd only wandered into the cave and found out what he was doing afterwards. We didn't, we didn't know what was happening. We tried to stop him. Thevis just sighs, and the lady says, As the person in charge of them, we find you liable for treason. What? Mr. Sevis would never do such a thing. N neither would we! Vlad, please escort Thevis, who hopefully will go peacefully. The city dungeon. <laughs> there has to be some way to prove this. Please let us prove this. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sevis. We'll do what we can to get you out. Uh, 
I promise we did nothing to tar tarnish the name of Night Song. And she turns and says, As for you, six, or three, four. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven! Three, sir, three! <laughs> As for you four. Looks like your guildmaster will take the blame for you. <laughs> However, we cannot allow you to leave the city and you must be under watch. Once the trial for Savis comes up, he is found guilty. You will likewise be found guilty. If he's found innocent, you will likewise be found innocent. Understandable. However, we have all heard your confession. It is very unlikely that he'll be declared innocent. I didn't confess to anything. No, certainly not! If you want to look into our heads and see what happened, you can do so. I will not tell a lie, especially under any kind of truth that you may wish to put upon me. He turns to the man above her. They were right. Says. <laughs> Name's Ronald. McDonald. Name's, Ron. <laughs> Name's Ronald, there we go. Does Ron please escort these people back to the guild? And make sure a city guard is outside where they do not try to escape. By chance, do you know when the trial date will be? The city is very busy. Likely it'll be in... Let's see... A year? What trial? A year? What? <laughs> we have that time! Maybe you are the real figures and, you, you're, you, and you're scared and you're shitting your pants right now. Mr. Lander, we can't even make accusations right now, but this is still um, ridiculous. Is there any way to move that date up to maybe six months? Is there any way to prove ourselves is a better question. There has to be a way. I request trial by combat right away. Is I'm afraid we don't have those type of things here. <laughs> oh, oh, good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha pipes up and says, I'll see what I can do for Sevis. It's a Thank you very frown much, miss. from this lady. And they walk out except for Ron, who just kind of faces you and waits for you until you're ready. I guess we're ready whenever, sir. You can hear a bit of a commotion outside as well. Can we hear any words or anything being said? You can hear a lady and a man raising their voice at the voice of the counselors I just left. Is the voice familiar to us? No. Faye's just frowning and wringing her hands, not believing any of this. Torn just looks really sad.
Where are they going to take Miss Banela and Mr. Fitz's bodies? <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Natasha has already called for someone to come and take their bodies and prepare them. Can I assist in their funeral rites? You'll have to put in a request as you are under custody at the moment. Just give, just give me a form to fill out and I'll do it. We'll have someone at your guild bring them for you. We should be going now. Uh, yes, sir. Meanwhile, you still hear arguing outside. Mm. Mm, Mother in heaven, I promise we won't go without this. Ron leaves the door, and as he leaves the door, you can see a large number of people in the hallway. Do we recognize anybody in the large group? Probably. So. <laughs> Anyone spit? Oh, okay. You can hear this lady shouting, We had an appointment with the council. What do you mean you're going now? Oh, it's They're that going lady. <laughs> They're going to, uh, to um, take care of the evil plans that we just put in jeopardy. I'm sure that's it. That's a lady who got her thing stolen in the other campaign, right? <laughs> oh, her. None of you would know her, probably. But, I guess there's a chance. She goes near Tyria, <laughs> half elf. I guess you'd probably know her. She's well known enough, I guess. You know that that lady is the elven ambassador and princess of the elven kingdom. She's alive! I thought she was kidnapped and killed. Good for her. <laughs> Is she getting it on and missing? Is these she days? what? Not right now. Is she what? Getting it on and missing these days. Is that what she's <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt that. Oh. Uh. So, this lady and the short man both stop to speak with her. The other two continue on their way. Ron just says, come along now. As I'm passing, do I hear any anything interesting? You can hear them talking about some type of trade agreement that they're supposed to be re-signing. Oh, not again! <laughs> And since it's not that long or matter, let's go ahead and reset the fog. I will be right back. So do you guys peacefully go past or go back yes. to the field? Yes. <laughs> it's looking incredibly worried. Fast yeah, forward to there. Like, as you guys leave the keep, there's an escort of guards.